All right, we're working on uh, the Briggs here, the water cool Briggs here, and we got our uh, valve seat cutter here that Tim Yader sent us. I didn't uh, give him a shout out for you guys to go over and look at his channel because he really don't have any channel. You know, he has a channel, but he doesn't have any videos or subscribers or anything, and uh, he probably just does. He probably just wants it that way. So, if you ever want a shout out, let us know. But uh, we got the kid here, and he's going to uh, try and cut this. Let's see how we how it goes. I think we might have to put some lubrication on here. Mm, Sometimes they they not. say they they call for kerosene. It'd probably be okay. Well, your cutter might last a little bit longer if you do, but. Uh, oh, you got any kerosene? No, but we have uh, oil. All right. Let me find some oil for you. All right, the kid's got uh, himself some oil here. There you go, buddy. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That way I don't get as many comments. Because <laughs> you know you know what happens when you don't use oil? I tell you to use oil. I get all these comments. But I got to an answer. Go ahead, buddy. You ready, buddy? Ooh, whoa, listen to him. Listen to him cut. He's just uh, going in one direction with that and applying a little bit of pressure. As well as that's cutting, I would look at that already. You see anything? Not yet, buddy. All right, keep going. All right, we're going to keep doing this until uh, we get us a nice uh, cut. And then we're going to lap it. Alright, that's cutting pretty good. He, uh, he still has a little bit, I still see a little bit, tiny bit of pitting, but uh, for the most part, he, he, didn't, he didn't have but maybe uh, good 10 good turns on that. So, uh, let's see if we can get some of that pitting out. And then we'll uh, lap it. Alright, we checked it out there, and there's, there's still a few, couple tiny little pits there, but uh, we don't want to cut too much because we got the valve. Might cut the valve, did a real nice job. But we don't want it to go down too far. You know, like below below the head, the surface of that. Turn up the wheel there, buddy. The wheel. You see where that one's at? This one's still sitting a little bit low, but we don't wanna we don't wanna cut too much, so give it give it a few more turns and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright. Alright. We're gonna have to uh take that out because uh the valve is hitting the tap it and it's not going to go down, you won't be able to uh, lap it. So we're going to go over there and uh, on the grinder and take some off of that. You want to do that for us, Mike? Okay. All right. Uh, Mike's got that valve, and it's got it sitting there uh, in the V block. And he's also got it squared up so he's taking just a very little bit off of that. I don't know how well you guys can hear me. But uh, you take a little bit off at a time. I'm, I'm going to go get the manual, Mike, and see what the, okay, see what the specifications. specs are on them. All right. Got an old manual here. Mike's over here grinding again. You got to take a little more off. And it looks like that there is a six. Looks like the exhaust would be between uh, 014, Mike, and 016. 14 and 16,000? Yeah. All right. Almost there. We're a little bit tight yet. Okay. Actually, you know what? Go ahead and lap that. Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. It, lap it. I mean, you've got you've probably got eight thousandths of clearance there, so you should be able to lap that in, and then we'll set it final. Right. Done. At least right. you got enough clearance to just sit on the seat, not to tap it. All right. We got the kits and lapping component here. One side is. Uh, one side is coarse, and one side is fine. I'll start with the coarse, buddy. Yep. Let me get you a, a suction cut. Okay. All right, Mark's, hey, Mike has, he's putting the, the coarse on for the kid. That way uh, the kid don't contaminate it. His hand, right now his hands are clean. He don't want to get any on the valve. So, you go, buddy. Let me stick this in some water for you there. Sometimes you got it. Wipe that off of there. If there's any, top of it, if there's any gritties on the top there, it makes it a pain for those little suction cup things to stick.
Go for it, buddy. You don't, you're not going to hurt it. Go ahead. Pop it up and down. Yeah, make sure you press down nice and firm. Yeah. There you go. You can hear it. Pop that bitch. When you run up and down, pop it. What's that mean? It means, so you hear it right now, you're... You hear you're, it? There you go. Once you do that, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, mm man. -hmm. Stand by. A guy like that, that was probably a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. All right, he, uh, he used the course, and I don't know if you can see that. Let me put a light on for you. And you see that uh, nice cut around the edge? That's what you want. And that's looking real good. So he's going to use the uh, fine now, and then then, then we'll uh, we'll cut it to size, buddy. There you go. All right. All right. Uh, we're going going with the fine. Yeah, buddy. Come over here before we make a mess. All that track, the O gauge track, and had some surface thrust, but it's some scotch brite to put right off. And it is in pretty good shape. So that's what I'm that's what I'm running on running them on now. Yeah, like I said, there hasn't been that much, you know, stuff. That looks good. Yep. I bought, a, I bought one of those, you know, those uh, propane heaters, like the, just the radiant heaters that go on top of the bottle with the two heads on them. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that runs about, about 16 hours on that bottle. And uh, I'm like, mm -hmm. And I used it, I used it a couple of times, I burned two bottles of propane and it takes the edge off in the garage. Oh yeah. yeah. You never put the insulation on Not too much water because that makes it too slippery. Wipe it off because that'll, that'll... It's still this little section that hasn't been done yet. It's still too much. Yeah. I have a couple more sheets. I'll try that. I've gotten around to doing it. I'll just say, hold on. You can hear it cut, but it doesn't cut as well as the other stuff, so you're doing good. Alright, we're going to let him do this. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, buddy. Yep. Take a look at it. Huh. It's funny, I have the perfect one. It's on a, it's, 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 it's... Wipe the valve for me first. Oh, yeah. The seat. It's, it's, okay. It's mounted up with a brace and strap engine. Hmm. Has a look. It looks pretty good. The Still has some stuff on there, but uh, it'll clean up. Okay. How's the valve looking? That looks pretty good. Looks very good. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's adjust them. All right. All right. The exhaust is ready to go, and uh, little dirt bike is just. Uh, Giving it a quick lap on that uh, intake. It did, really didn't need it, but uh, we got all the stuff out, so it's not going to hurt it. Having trouble there, buddy? Yeah, buddy. I don't think we really cleaned off the top of that valve at all. Mm. Well, you know what it is? Top of the valve is yeah, pretty it's, it's also round a little bit. Yeah. It's all right. Hang in there. You'll get it. You'll get it. All right, got a nice ring around the intake here, and then the engine there. So uh, we're all ready. We're gonna we're gonna check the the clearance on that, but it should be okay. Now we got eight thousands here. That was supposed to be seven to nine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Looks looks like it's good. Yeah, it's probably closer to ten, but oh well. Oh, it's good enough. It's all right. It's only a one hour engine. Go ahead. All right, so we, you ready to throw it together there? Uh, yeah, yeah, good to go. Put, put the springs on and uh, the, head on. the head on, and it should be good. Fire it up. All right, I'm about to add my battery here, so let me go get a battery while you guys do that. Okay. Melt. <laughs> How's the compression on that, Mike? It's going to melt. It's going to overheat. What? How's the compression on that? Oh, look at that. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, Christ, before we could spin it with our hand, now sure. you can't, can't spin it at all. Wow. Yeah, bitch, should start now. All uh, right, you know, if me and Mike rebuilt that, it would start on a first pull. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you three pulls because it, three pulls? yeah. All right, we'll turn the camera off for a second. <laughs> no. Oh, 
Oh boy. It's one. It sounded good though. That was two. Don't let us down, buddy. The tubes are watching. All right, we'll give it to you. We'll give you that. I'm gonna shut it down till we get it running right because uh, we never adjusted the carburetor on this. But uh, all right, we're gonna get one more spin. All right. Yeah, Let's fine tune it. All right, go ahead, buddy. Whoa, whoa! Watch that string. I guess that's a good reason to put the housing on. Yeah, yeah it would wrap around here and spun, hit me, Mike, in the head, kill us both. <laughs> then this thing never would run. Chugging along, no. No smoke? No smoke. Give it a little turn, turn your screw in a little bit. I think your, your uh, throttle needs to be turned up a little bit. That's pretty good. No smoke or nothing. Yep. Got that gallop to it. Got that gallop. You know, I miss every once in a while. That's it. So you get out of a 65 year old engine. Mm -hmm. But that's good. That's good enough for what we need it for. That's right. All right. I don't know. I think it's probably be a long video. So, uh. all right, we're gonna call it a, a night. What do you say, guys? All right, enough of this. All right, see you later. Wake Where? up! Somebody wake him up. <laughs> all right, guys. That poor guy. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later.